So Gary, the cows come in from the paddocks in along the roadway here and into a covered collecting yard. Yep. And they're walking onto a slat, I see. Slat, but also quite a wide, wide entry in. So you're wanting the cows to be walking always from in that they can get side by side and keep it nice and wide for them and then turn into the turn into the underneath the backing gate then. Okay. So I see your backing gate is not coming to this end wall here, it's it's coming to the first column here. Coming to the first column because you know with the backing gate really what you're wanting the cows to what really what you want the cows to do, you know, you don't need the back and get really for the first hundred cows because they're eager to get on to the rope tree. It's only the last, you know, 50, 60. But at the same time, once they come in and under, we can drop the gate down and bring them all up with the auto advance function. Okay. Um, and Tom has controls at the front and the back for the back and gate. So in this far corner here, you can see the uh, up down controls for it. Um, so he can bring it up down, forward and back as well from the back of the parlors also. Okay, so what weight is the collecting yard? Uh, with the clacking yards, 40, 45 feet in, in width, um, and it's 120 feet from top to bottom, as far, you know, 120 feet top to bottom. Right, and how many cows would you hold here, roughly? Uh, depending on the size of cow, but we're, we're taking about 300 cows, it'll hold the total clacking yard. Okay, it's quite a fast fall, is it, or is that what you like for rotaries, or? Um, I like it for rotaries, so we normally say minimum 2%, um, up till sometimes even up to four percent but you know tom has here from ground level being the slot you know the cows need to be uh, the, the cows need to be coming up a meter so really in that we've got the two percent up up to the front of the parlor then um, but the nice thing about having the percentage fall like that is cow never likes to stand um downhill or sideways on a hill she'll want to walk straight up the hill so whenever you have this type of fall it's always pointing the cow towards the rotary walking up okay so your backing gate here is a serious piece of gear. Could you describe what, what's in it? So our, uh, our backing gate, uh, it's our heavy duty backing gate. It's made by Electromac. Um, and what it is, is that it's a hydraulic system. So we have two hydraulic rams either side. Um, and then because we have the comb finger backing gate, basically we can, you know, in a rotary you have at the, ver at the far end, you have a, normally a dead patch where the, the, the backing gate can't come up. Because we have the fingers and the comb, we can actually uh, bring the cows right up till there's only maybe one or two cows left in the collecting yard. Um, it is very heavy duty. We can actually go up to nearly 60 feet with this backing gate. Um, and then with it being hydraulic, we can adjust the pressure so we don't hurt any cows. So, you know, we can bring it right down where me or you could stop the backing gate if we needed to. Um, but our backing gate as well doesn't use uh, rollers to uh, drive it or wheels to drive it. It uses a chain and it crawls its way up the collecting yard so you never get slippage or going out of line or that type of thing with it. So how does the operator the operate the gate then? Is it automatic or does he have to press a button every now and again? So you have, you have a loads of options. So as I said, you can control it from the back here, but if it's the person milking at the far end, what they can do is a, they can have it in manual so the gate won't do anything. Um, unless they manually intervene and put it up or down or forward or back, um, or you can put it into automatic. And what automatic does is, from the automatic ID system on the Bomatic Rotary, it counts how many cows has come onto the Rotary, and then it's user defined. You can bring the rotary, or you can bring the back and get up, it brings it up automatically uh, for a desired length of time. So okay. normally, we would say count 20 cows, come up 10 seconds. Um, and one of the other safety features is as well, because we've got the comb and it's hydraulic and a lot of cows in a wide, back, or wide collecting yard is that whenever it's bringing the cows up, um, whenever it finishes its auto advance, it'll actually reverse for a second. So it, it brings the cow up, it takes the pressure off her again at the start, you know, whenever she's uh, finishing off the auto advance. Okay. So you've, you've your uh, head turns in on the wall either side is your, your running track or whatever? Yes. Yeah. And inside then the little channel on the top is where the chain sits then on both, on both sides. Okay. And then this is the drive, the drive bar right across. So we drive both sides of the, of the, the rail, not just one side. Great. So we'll see that operating there shortly. Yeah. And then uh, also for safety, we'll have a pull cord. So if, you know, again, obviously, because we're going through a comb system, 
if there was a human that was in the collecting yard that they can reach up and stop the back and get it any time. So what's the advantage of the comb system as you'd see it compared to having a dead wall? Big, biggest advantage is, is one you're funneling the cows into the into the rotary. So again, it's all, you know, rotaries is everyone usually puts them in because they want speed, but that's no good if you have poor cow flow either coming into the parlour or leaving the parlour. So the comb naturally funnels the cows in. But on a traditional backing gate, obviously, if that's a wall, you have this triangle here full of cows. So you could be talking 20, 30 cows in that triangle. Yes. Where with the comb, we can bring, the, we can bring it right up. So there's only maybe one cow in, in the collecting yard and then maybe three, four in the, in the, in the lead-in race. OK, yes, good. So we, we might walk through here. So yep. what, what the typical approach for a cow is as they enter the, the parlour? So uh, with, with this rotary, we have a, one of the other benefits with the Bomatic automation is we actually have a selection gate or a sort gate at the start of the rotary. Um, and what Tom has actually went for as well is he's went for a dual, a dual sort gate at the start. So in our Bomatic software, um, the left hand gate will shed cows into the exit race. And what typically people use that for is if you had uh, bulls in the herd, and you didn't want them to go onto the rotary, you can automatically select them to go to the left into the exit race uh, every milking. Um, or if you wanted cows that were, if you were bringing a whole batch in and some cows weren't to be milked, you can automatically select them into the exit race. But really the main benefit, what most people put in pre-selection for is that you can shed the cows into this pen in here. Yes. And what it's used for is this, if you have a cow with mastitis or you have a cow that's just calved in and you want to collect her colostrum, instead of slowing down the milking, that it just keeps the, you know, it keeps them to the end of the, it keeps them to the end of it. And yeah. they, then he can bring them in at the end. So, you know, the bulk of his cows is milked and it's only the last few that okay. need work done. And would this holding pen here and the drafting be a common feature on Bomatic rotaries? Is that what um, you would push for? It, it is. A, it is very much so in grass-based systems. You know, like that. You know, most of our rotaries are put are put in with this. Um, and to be honest, it's even becoming popular in some of our rotaries in Scotland. You know, the guys are looking for the advantages of you know the automation, and uh, definitely in Ireland at the moment, the trend is never mind putting in the rotaries with us is a uh, putting in a lot of automation to back them up as well to make it efficient for farmers. Right. Okay. And I see here in the holding pen, you have an exit door, a roller door as well. I, pres I presume to take cows out as... Take cows out if it's for selling or if he's, uh, you know, if he has to let cows go to the abattoir, you know, it's used, it's used for that in total. You know, like, you know, it can be used for anything, you know. Yes. Some people have even seen in these here have a loading ramp as well at the other side, just directly into the pen for that. Yes. So if you said there, you were saying about bulls being selected off, every animal needs an ear tag, so or RFID tag, is that right? Or a collar or? Yeah, RFID collar, um, or, you know, that depends what the, again, the level of automation. So, you know, we can go with just an ear tag, which is very, you know, it's a cost effective way of getting identification for the cow, or we can go right up to um, GPS um, heat detection collars, so it can have location tracking on each system. So. For each cow, basically, you can watch the cow move around in the in the in the holding yards and the, in their in their cubicles as well. Okay, very good. And so all the identification of the animals happens here. But are you also uh, IDing on the platform, or is is that separately done? Yeah. So on on this on this we have a on the sort gate we have its own it has its own dedicated ID system, which is a at this point on the on it and when the cow IDs here. Uh, three things can happen. Right hand gate can open, left hand gate can open, or the cow can walk on. Uh, whenever the cow gets through, then the ID for the, the ID for the parlor is a uh, done on the parlor. And the reason for that is, um, you know, I'm not. I don't agree with ID being done before the parlor because. It gives you a level of uh, inconsistencies with ID where what really cow walks onto the rotary, she gets settled in one stall, she gets ID'd in the second stall, and then she gets fed in the third stall. So it allows, you know, we know exactly where the cow is whenever she gets ID'd, where if you have it in the race, if the cow does go into there or doesn't, will depend on just what, what mood she's in for it. So I much right. prefer having ID on the stall. Excellent.